Take a left on 3A Avenida. No, 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 right, right, right. I need to find this market. I know, I know. It should be straight ahead, up on your right. Remember, no guns, we need this man alive. We don't need another scene like Antigua.
Thanks for your help back there, man. Seriously. No problem. You know, you've really managed to stay in pretty good shape while you've been out here in this jungle. Yeah, you haven't. There's that bond charm. So, uh, really no going back to MI6, huh? You know, I really just came out here to escape that whole world for a while. And so far, all I've done is help the CIA bring down a local drug ring. It's just starting to concern me that this whole thing runs a little deeper than I imagined, you know? I'm sure you guys can handle it. Bond, you know we could really use you. I mean, what has it been, three years since you've left the service? As soon as you started helping us, we were able to track that guy down and capture him. You're right, we do make a good team. But I've been here long enough to know that these drug lord types are recyclable. I mean, you take down one and another one just fills the spot. So this, this is it for you, huh? This dump. Well, I mean, people are nice and I enjoy the weather. Don't give me that bullshit. Nobody likes this humidity. You should give it some time. I think it'll grow on you. No, no, no. I gave it enough of a chance. And with this pale skin, not a chance. Well, now that you've caught your guy, maybe you should consider taking some time off. It really puts things in perspective. Plus, I always pegged you as the kind of guy that wanted to settle down and have a family. Nah, I, uh, I thought about it, obviously. We all do, but uh, I know it could never be possible. James, you were the best field agent I've ever had the opportunity to work with, and a damn good friend. I'm not going to beg you to come back, and, uh, you know, I recognize that everybody has their limits, but you haven't hit yours. Thanks for the drink, man. On your way out? Yeah, I gotta catch my flight. Ah, Tabernus Desert Mission, right? Yeah, not looking forward to it. Oh, Anyways, no. gotta bounce. Just stay in touch. Hey, will do. All right, give me the damage report. Modesto had a lot to say, but a lot of it's contrived nonsense. That's what he's trained for. Hmm. Yeah, a lot of nonsense. Your friend has a lot of help back there. I heard he's retired now. You should have seen him in his heyday. I've heard stories. They're all true. On that note, I'm gonna go get some lunch. Do you want anything? Nah, I'm good. Good to see ya. You on your way out? Headed back to the States. I hear it tell. What are you gonna do? All right, I'll walk you out. Cool. All right, see you guys. See ya. So it sounds good. Sushi. Mm, tacos? Tacos, that's my cue. Uh, give me tacos if you're going. All right, I'll be back in an hour. Okay, and they better be warm. Good choice. All right. Guys, let me ask you something. Okay. Have neither of you two heard of Calle de la Verbia? Nah, absolutely not. So it looks like an old NATO outpost out in Jamaica. Yeah, it was years ago. Okay. Interesting, we don't have any additional records on the base. Look into why those records were removed for me, okay? Tom, I need you to pull something up. Yes, sir. See who was in charge of the recon point when it was last in use. You got it, bus? And uh, would you put it on the big screen for me, too? You got it. It appears the point examination was last led by a man by the name of Anatoly Vladislav in 1992. They were stationed in Kingston, Jamaica under suspicion of a man running inhumane test experiments on a nearby island. After years of examination, it was rendered inoperative. Interesting. I wonder why Modesto would reference a place like this. It's likely he was just saying anything to keep alive. It's a very specific internal code. It's not just happenstance. Whatever happened to uh, Anatoly Vladislav, anyways? You two, get down!
Help me. James. Please help me. James. Help me. James. They're coming. James. James. Help me. James. James. Help me. Help me. You're the only James. one who can... Look, good. It's nice to see you too, Tanner. How was Tokyo? It was exciting. So, I see you're still running errands for Em? No, actually, Em is unaware of your return. She'll be happy to see me then. Well. What do you mean, well? The Em you know retired a year after you've gone. A new one has replaced her. And? And what? How is she? Try to make a good impression. Em's also on her way to Vienna tomorrow to meet with the United Nations, so she's a little off edge. Perfect. It's a bit hectic around the office. MI6 is in a state of crisis. As usual. In the meantime, I'll have you start filling this out. It's the first part of your physical. Physical? Don't make me lose the respect I still have left for you, Gerard. All I'm asking for is a moment longer of your time. I have a very busy schedule. You have two more minutes. It makes no sense that the Russians would be involved in the incident in Guatemala. The body found was a member of Russian military force called Seventh Sanctum. Give my team two hours. We could have a Caucasian male painted up as a Russian officer strung up on your doorway that looks twice as convincing as the one that you found. Your team? May I remind you that you've been suspended by the CIA and no longer have a team? You wasted three years of CIA funding and four operatives under your command. This organization exists. I admire your persistence, but... You need me to find these people. I don't need anything from you. Right now, our priority is pulling our deep cover agents from the Russians before their cover is blown. Don't ask me to waste my resources on your ghost hunt. Then who leaked the information on Felix or the other agents you're trying to save? The Russians. The Russians leaked the list themselves? That seems uncharacteristically inefficient of them. If they had the list already, then why aren't all of your men dead? Gerard, you're playing a hunch. A hunch we can no longer afford to play. 
CIA gave you very specific instruction to lock down your research. If I find anything that leads me to believe you're onto something, I'll call you. But for now, leave it to rest. Um, I'm asking you to leave. I was on my way out. I heard you were dead. Almost. <clears throat> em? You look like hell. Not the first person to tell me that today. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Walk with me. I'm guessing you want to be reinstated. Yes. I can tell you right now you're not ready. I am. I don't know how things worked at the last end, but you sure as hell can't walk in after all this time and expect your job back. What will you have me do then? Fill out paperwork Tanner gave you. You'll do a physical this week. In the meantime, queue over, see your transition into standard intelligence work. Office duty. If you pass your physical, which I doubt you will, you'll be under consideration to return to regular field duty. And how long will that be? Best scenario, three months. And if I don't pass? Maybe next year or the following. Or you can pack your bags and go back wherever they dragged you from. You can't be serious. You want to be a field agent, this is where it starts. Prove yourself. This is all I have to say on that matter. Meet Q at 8 a.m. tomorrow morning. Well, you look like shit. You still dress like an old man. It's good to have you back. I'm not really back. Would have thought I'd end up working for you. Em told me to send you to the fourth floor to do paperwork. You may sometimes act like an irresponsible, egotistical, misogynistic, oh, all right, all right. imbecile. But I thought it'd be nice to have someone with your field experience around. I appreciate you having my back, Q, but that doesn't change the fact that I'm essentially your new clerk. You'll get used to it. And this new M? Now that you may not get used to. I don't like her. She doesn't like you. What's her story? She was a prodigious field agent. Every project that she worked on was a success. The older generation were on their way out, and their vacancies left empty rungs on the ladder for her to climb. Sounds like a tight ass. In my opinion, she was moved up a little too quickly. She might not have had enough experience to acquaint herself with failure. But I'm optimistic. She seems to know what she wants, and she wastes no time. Listen, Gerard gave me his research. Hasn't M given strict orders to stay away from Gerard? I know, but a lot of this stuff makes sense. I'd be careful what you see in there. This is Felix's research, too. So what did you find? Mbar, our deep cover man? There's reason to believe he's working with the Russians. What does it say about him? That he leaked the list of MI6 deep cover agents? Really? You designed a mission to pull Bar out, haven't you? Uh, it's classified. Classified? Double O's only. In fact, I have a debriefing starting right now. I'll need you to head out. Jeff and accounting can show you to your new desk. Jeff? Why the hell do you want me here? You said my field experience would be helpful. How is it going to be helpful if you leave me out of every mission? Look, it's not my decision to make. Listen, Q, I've been doing this for a long time, and we don't know what damage Bar could do. We can't call off a mission based off of a possibility. I understand, but just let me help. You're James Bond, right? Yeah, who are you? This is Agent 003. I've heard you were the best 00 in the agency. That's flattering. Too bad to see you like this. Like what? Put the office duty. What is this, broadcasted on the BBC? Q, we're gonna be taking a sick day tomorrow.
Thank you for coming. Of course. So you've had an opportunity to look over what I've given you? I did. And you're here because you found some validity in it? I have. Walk with me. Autumn is a season of great beauty, but also a season of decay. The days grow shorter, the light suffuses, and the abundances of summer decay towards winter's death. It's a dismal viewpoint, I know. But I find in my experience, I notice more of the bleak exterior than I do the wonders. The decline of meaning, the decay of relationships, the death of a vocation. I think now more than ever, we fear the darkness. We want the glories of spring and summer and the constant light that comes with them. And when the light leaves, we want artificial light to replace it. While all the while beyond the border, the darkness is growing more terrifying. And of the wonder? A myriad of possibilities being planted to bear fruit in seasons to come. Start of something new. It's the first days of winter, and it's our job to traverse through winter's darkness and bring change. And if what you say about Barr is true, he is the man behind Felix's death. What are you going to do? Well, we find him, we see what information he has, and then we kill him. So you're headed to Spain? I am. Come with me. Help me find the shadow organization. Bond, I don't know you, but I knew Felix. And I know that he wouldn't sit around waiting for World War III like MI6. How many men do you have? With you, seven. Protecting Ari and Berenger must be a priority. A great many, including our previous employers, will see us as enemies while we complete this objective. But I want no harm to come to any of them. Okay. Your mission is to find Bar and get him out alive. Understood? It is only a matter of time before information regarding his MI6 status is received. Therefore, it is imperative that we proceed quickly and with caution on this rescue mission. If we fail, information regarding these undercover agents would be in the hands of a very powerful enemy. Let's make this clean. Agent 003, I've spotted Barr. Remember, getting Barr alive is our top priority. And protecting Ari. No MI6 agents get hurt.
two over there. Can't let you take him back to MI6. Why? What are you talking about? He's a double agent. Don't listen to him, Ari. Bond's right. Bar's coming with us. You two are working together? Bar leaked the list of all the agents, including Felix. He's lying. I won't Shut up! Work. You know me, Ari. Come with us. Nobody gets hurt. The mission was to take him alive. And that's what I'm going to do. If you're not going to give him to us, Ari, back away from Bar. He's not worth dying for. You're not gonna make this easy, are you? Sir, M would like to speak with you. Where's Bond? Uh, he called him sick. Did he? Yeah. That's funny, because what I heard is he showed up and third-partied the mission in Spain. Uh, what? You know what else I heard? He's working with Gerard. Not only that, he shot and killed Agent Barr. Oh, shit. Oh, shit is right. You find Bond and you get him back here. If I find out you have anything to do with this, you're fired. Yes, ma'am. And you're working late tonight. So, uh, Friday... No. Glenn. Who? Bryce. Glenn Bryce. Uh, I'm sorry, I don't... It's Bond. 
Hold on a sec. What the hell, James? I need your help. Do you realize that I just lied to Em about your whereabouts? If I'm caught talking to you right now, I'm fired. I need you to trust me. Just get back here as soon as possible. I can't. Look, you're gonna hear some things. What things? You know what? I, I don't want to know. I need your help. I can't help you. Look, Hugh, you're the only one I can trust. <sighs> sure. I could lose my job. You are officially going to get me fired. Can you just look something up for me real quick? All right, all right. I need you to track the location where this number came from. <sighs> all right. 111-738465. That's all I've got. Can you find something? Maybe, give me a second. Where did you get this code? It's the file Gerard gave me, Felix's research. <sighs> I shouldn't be doing this. Cute, you're doing great so far. Just keep up the hard work. Thanks for the kind words. Okay, it's got its tracks covered pretty well. I think I've got it decrypted as far as I can. Chinatown, Los Angeles. A name? A lead? The way the code was covered up, I would say, it was probably done by a moderately skilled hacker. Do you know any hackers in Chinatown? No, but I know someone who might. Vitelli. What's a girl like you doing in a place like this? Getting the fuck out of here. You got a place? So, this is what you call lying low. You fancy people in your high-class suites. It's much better accommodations than last time. Last time? Oh, remember you left me tied to a tree, freezing my ass off in Sweden? Yeah, but you're a resourceful girl, so I knew you'd find your way out of it. You're just lucky I don't hold a grudge, honey. Oh yeah? Why is that? If I had wanted you dead, I would have killed you by now. Killing me was what you were hired to do. So are you saying you chose not to kill me because you got a thing for me? Oh, you have some ego, don't you? Well, if I didn't, I would be as bad at my job as you are at yours. I am not bad at my job. So you just don't kill people you're into? You know, I'm almost regretting coming here. Do I want to know who that guy was at the club? A very bad man, okay? Fine. Keep your secrets. I'm finding the shower. I'm finding a drink. better? Yeah. Are you hungry? <sighs> no, I think I'll just have some of what you're having. Is 
So what were you doing at the club? I was looking for you. Looking for me? Yeah, I was hoping you could help me find someone. Who? All I know is he's a hacker in Chinatown, San Francisco. And I know you have a history in Chinatown. I know a few people. Do you know anyone who might have been involved in some government-related issues? Well, I do keep some close tabs on some old associates, but it'd have to be somebody smart enough to pull it off, but also dumb enough to get involved with shady government business. I know exactly who you're looking for. He's a close friend, or well, he used to be. Ex-boyfriend? No. Okay, yes. Can you help me find him? Well, he won't be in Chinatown this time of year. He owns a restaurant up at Sundance right now. Hope you brought your jacket. Well, we can go to Nordstrom's on our way out. MI6 doesn't know about this, do they? No. What are you out for? Revenge? Let me tell you, no amount of alcohol is going to fix your problems for you. Yeah, but it's a good start. Okay, story time. Who died? Well, excuse my candor, but this sounds like a revenge story, and every good revenge story starts out with a death. Felix. You guys were close. Yeah. I don't have many friends. I'm sorry. I saw him the day he died. It had been almost three years, and I helped him track a drug runner down in Guatemala. He told me to come back, but I was too prideful. Now you're finishing his mission. If I could have been there, I think I could have prevented this. Why'd you ever leave MI6 in the first place? I just... needed something else. Something new. Did you find it? No. Listen. I don't like admitting that my stepfather had anything to do with the person I am today, but he's the reason I ran away from home when I was 13. He's the reason I was at the club tonight. The worst part of it is he didn't even recognize me. But it gets to a point where you realize all you can do is keep moving, keep going. But let me tell you that thing that keeps you up at night you can't run away from it. You have to face it. Because you chose this life. So did I. We're killers. So how do you know this guy? We did a couple jobs together a few years back. Do you think he will help us? The last time I saw him, it ended with me speeding away in his car with his cut of the money. What? All right, so I screwed him over, but that was a long time ago. I should have expected this with you. OK, I'm sure he's forgotten all about it. place. So what's the plan? We just go in. Or not. Come on. Hey, why don't you go on? I'll catch up with you in five minutes. She's cute. No, whatever it is, I don't want to be a part of it. I just have some questions for you. You left me with nothing. I really hoped you'd forgotten about that. I forgot about it. You literally screwed me last time. Do you know how hard I've had to work to get where I am, Gabby? Okay, this is the part where you shut up. You would have done the same exact thing had you been in my position. Now, I need answers about what you've been doing with MI6 and the CIA. Look, I don't know what you're talking about.
You might want to think twice about that answer. Look, I'll give you all the answers you need. Let's just get out of the city. They've got eyes and ears everywhere. Okay. You just give me five minutes. So do you think they'll run? You mm, wouldn't dare. So, Gabby, huh? Shut up. Someplace quiet, all right. Yeah, I like to come up here and clear my head, get a breath of fresh air, and it's probably the only place that they haven't bugged yet. So how'd you know Roger Barr? Well, we're just uh, jumping into it then. Well, after catching word of my reputation, Roger sought me out. He promised protection, indemnity, and I didn't have a choice. I was in debt, I had a lot of people after me. He commissioned me uh, to shift around some of his assets. You know, he, I had to do some of his decoding. The job lasted a week, and then I was free and clear. You've aided a terrorist organization in the assault of a CIA bunker and the assassination of several undercover agents. Yeah, I hacked servers. I delivered information. That was it. I didn't want to hurt anybody. Then you should have known better. You think you're the good guys, don't you? Let me tell you, you're not. You're all the same. Each one of you running around, pointing a gun, arguing over who's right and who's wrong. Well, this time we're pointing the gun. Look, I can't speak for what Leah and I have done. I sure as hell know it's not all right. But what I do know is that whoever Barr was working for is a lot worse. And he's gonna hurt a lot of innocent people. You did your part for them, now you do your part for us. While working with Barr, I caught word of a meeting in Salt Lake City. They were going over some deadlines for some objectives. That's all I know. Do you have any names? Anyone working with Barr? No, oh, they covered their tracks well. That's, that's all I know. We came all the way up here for some meeting at some time in some place. Look, I told you I didn't know anything. If you would have just listened to me the first time when I told you. Q will find something off of it. And for what it's worth, Martin, I hope you find your way out of this when it's all over. I wish for that too. But as we all know, it never ends. Who is this? It's Gerard. What do you want, Gerard? I want what I've always wanted. Seeing you and Leah take out my men together, I think I've realized that I want us to be on the same side of this. After you just tried to have us killed, I'm not interested. I can't guarantee, Bond, that if you get in my way, I won't shoot you. That's the difference between you and I. If you recall, you didn't hesitate. What was you. Martin to you anyway? Martin was a bad man. As you and I both heard, he would do it again if the right person promised the right thing. 
He had a family. Whether he thought it was right or not, his decision had consequences. What made you shoot Barr? I didn't want you to have him. Just like I said, we're the same. It's all perspective. Sometimes you have to be the martyr. As promised. I'm not that great at goodbyes. Neither am I. So, good luck catch the bad guys or whatever. Take care of yourself. Nice bunker. Whose is it, your grandma's? Budget's running a little thin. I can tell. Anyone could just walk right through the front door. Western Town was a nice touch, though. How about a nice to see you? Thanks for risking your entire career to come here and help me. Right, that's what I meant. All right, now listen up. I did a little research on the so-called meeting Martin told you about. It looks like the owner of the Grand is throwing a party that same night. That's gonna be our way in. Great. So here's the tricky part, getting from the party to the meeting. Seeing as how it's a select few that were invited, where everybody knows each other, I don't think you can pretend to be one of them. So how do we get in? Well, Bennett Francis. Okay. He's hosting this party, and he happens to own the entire complex. So what you're trying to say is he'll somehow get us access to this meeting? Yes and no, you'll be giving yourself access. Can you stop being so cryptic? Am I impersonating him or what? Yeah, that's exactly what you're doing. Okay, I don't know if you've noticed this or not, Q, but I'm not black. Nor French. This is a terrible plan. Okay, so I thought you might react this way, but hear me out. I'm pretty sure they've never met before. How certain are you? 80%. 80%? Well, it's not impossible. Listen, all we need is a fingerprint and voice authorization and then we're in the conference room. And what happens when I tell them I'm Bennett and they notice the very clear differences in our complexion? Then on to plan B. What's plan B? Well, I came up with plan A. Plan B's up to you. <laughs> He's cute. Well, okay, what's the rest of plan A? I'm sure it can't all be this bad. That's actually pretty much it. So, you and I will head there together. I'll drop you off up front, and then head around back. I'll need you to get me into the Grand's network. There will be a panel inside the main dining room, where I can have you place a microscopic bug that should get me in. It'll take a minute or two for me to get set up. This will give you a moment to peruse around a bit, maybe grab some hors d'oeuvres. Once you spot our target, Keep an eye on him. We'll wait until he inevitably leaves his table for another drink. Once I'm on their server, 
I'll get working on your access card, and Mercedes will begin phase two. Who's Mercedes? She's the escort. The escort? I tapped into Bennett's Fave Fives and found her. He spends an absurd amount of time with her. Fave Fives? What year do you think it is, Q? It was a witticism. Once he's left his table, she'll follow him to the bar. If all goes well, he'll recognize her, and when presented with the temptation, will not be able to resist. While she distracts him, you'll walk over to his table and casually grab his old wine glass. Once you've done so, you can extract his fingerprint with little issue. I've given Mercedes a calculated script that should lead to very specific responses from Bennett. Once she has those responses, I can begin curating a voice print for you to access the room. After we give her sufficient time to do so, and get away from Bennett, you will meet Mercedes in the main hall. She'll be waiting for you with a recorder to play back the voice print. From there, you'll head outside to the courtyard. There will be a secured door with a scanner where you will place your finger, play the sound bite of his voice, and your access card will appear with your image, and you'll be in the meeting. Boom. Q, there's a bodyguard. Everything's gonna be fine. I thought it was just gonna be a voice change. We have everything that we need to clear security. It's going to be okay. What's your name? Uh, <clears throat> Bennett? Bennett? Okay. Go ahead and place your finger on here. Do you know how to use one of these? Yeah. There we go. Bennett Collier? It's me. How was your trip to Quebec? It was good. Yeah, it was pretty good. I thought you were French. I've been in America so long, I lost the accent. All right, we'll speak into this. <clears throat> Brilliant plan, Q. Well, it was working until you punched him. It was not working. I'm in. Your donations will be a minute contribution compared to your overall profit. Are there any other questions? Yeah, can I have a smoke? So let me get this straight. You want us to bet against the stocks and the US space program? Our radio beam will be quite spectacular. I'm not opposed to Anatoly's project. I'm just not comfortable throwing money at something that hasn't been proven in the field. Gentlemen, I suggest you buy in now. There will not be an opportunity later. If that is all, you are free to contemplate. We will be reaching out to you within the next week for final decisions. Thank you. Who are you? No one else is authorized to be here. Bond. James Bond. Let's head it out the back. That whole Bennett thing didn't work out, did it? I admit it wasn't my best idea. What did you hear while you were in there? Something about betting against the U.S. space program. I didn't hear much, but we need whatever's in that briefcase. Pull up alongside the back of the truck. 
What are you doing? Hold it steady. Got company. Nice. You look beautiful. It's 
nice seeing you here. It's really nice seeing you too. How... How are you here? What happened to you? You don't need to worry about that now. What do you mean I can't worry about that? You're all I can think about. I killed them all. I killed every last one. It will never change what happened. But they hurt you. The mission. No. No more missions. You're the only one who can... Abby. James, no more running. Abby. Are you okay? How long have you been standing there? Long enough to know that you probably don't need any more of that. Give it here. How'd you find me? It wasn't that difficult. Our hotel's just around the corner. So do you want to tell me what's wrong? I'm fine. I overheard you having a conversation with yourself and then running blindly down an alleyway. You're not fine. Q. I'm asking as a friend. Who cares? It's my sister. From Skyfall. My childhood home. She was my foster sister, but that didn't mean she wasn't blood to me. I vowed to protect her, and she got messed up in some... She didn't have an easy life. She needed a way out of her situation, so I sent her some money and got her a home off the grid in Guatemala. I never understood why you left. She wrote me every month, but then the letters stopped coming. I waited month after month until I realized something was wrong. They had gotten to her people she was running from. The only reason I ever got mixed up with Felix and the CIA anyway is because we were tracking down the same man. The last one. The last one who I thought was responsible for her death. And how did you feel after dealing with him? The nightmares got worse and when the only friend I had asked for help I turned him down too. <sighs> Heavy. paid for this. Couldn't you have bought something a little nicer? This no, my mistakes, Q. I paid for my mistakes, and I'm done now. But what do you mean? You can't just quit. I'm done, Q. Gerard got the weapon. He'll find who he's looking for. You can't give up now. I can. I lost too much already. I even almost lost you. And I lost my job. To help you. If we don't find these guys, then it was all over. It'd be for nothing. Get used to it. I mean, at worst, this was a minor setback. We need to find these guys. You no, know, I don't think I've ever seen you drunk before. Let's get you on my level. It'll change your mind. Oddly, the more inebriated I get, the more optimistic I become. Cue the optimist. The problem solver. Where are you going? To figure this thing out. Give it up already. I came here to find 007, but apparently he's not here. Old news, Q.
Wait. Q. Anatoly. I overheard that name at the Grand. Can you look up someone named Anatoly that might be associated with the space program? We may be able to link something up. What is happening? I found him. This has been a weird night. Yes, it has. There are countless names here, if any of them are even him. Wait, stop. Kai de Verbia. Where have I seen that name before? You lost me. Felix's research. The statement's from Modesto. He mentioned a Kai de Verbia. Okay. Look it up. It appears it was a NATO recon point. Uh, point examination was last led by a man by the name of... Anatoly Vladislav in 2001. They were stationed in Kingston, Jamaica, under suspicion of a man running inhumane test experiments on a nearby island. After years of examination, it was rendered inoperative. Inhumane test experiments. Sounds like our man. Look up Anatoly. Nothing. Nothing in our database at all. That is strange. If he worked for a NATO recon point, we should have something. Look up Kaya de Verbia now. See what's happened to it. It's off the grid. Found him. Now what? We go there and wait for Gerard. After securing that weapon, he has what he needs to find Anatoly. Or the other way around. Should cause a worthy distraction for me to get in. Okay, so this is everything I got. Dude, this is an arsenal. You keep this here all the time? Well, yeah, I mean, you never know. I was joking. Yeah, I figured that was sarcasm. A staple gun? Really? Look, I'll, I'll oh, look. Get some. Another watch. Does this one do anything, or does it also just tell the time? Oh, and look. PPK I already have. That one is actually pretty cool. Here, hand it over. So the magazine functions as any ordinary magazine, except I've loaded it with explosives that can be detonated remotely with that launch. What the hell am I going to do with an exploding magazine? I don't know, man. All my good shit's out of my six. Your guest is here. On the floor? James Bond. How lovely to see you. Please, have a seat. I'll pass. Thank you, though. Chill out, Mr. Vaughn. This lack of trust, lack of comfort that MI6 has given you. 
That's not what we're about here. Is it, Gerard? You've treated me well so far. Precautionary. Uncuff him. Bring me his gut. Have a drink. Sit down. You're not going to want to miss dinner. You're not my prisoner here. I told you he was stubborn. Yes, you did. Let me at least tell you about dinner. Have you ever had fugu? No? I'll explain why this dish is so special. It's made from the pufferfish, and the pufferfish are lethally poisonous. A chef must undergo rigorous training and certification in order to even begin to prepare it for human consumption. It's normally prepared, leaving just a little bit of poison in the fish, causing a numbing and tingling effect in the mouth. And even with all this training, many people die every year from fugu poisoning. I don't know what excites me more, the flavor or the risk. You do know your puffer fish. I'm a man of many passions, Mr. Bond. It's been entertaining watching the two of you battle back and forth to get to me. You must have a lot of questions. Let me open the floor to you. Toppling American missiles, is that your plan? It is only the first step in proving our power. Our power? I work for Spectre. Spectre? Special executive for counterintelligence, terrorism, revenge, and extortion. Perhaps I'd be best suited for the revenge section. But tell me, why become criminal? Criminal? You've got it all backwards. The Americans are fools, the British are fools. I, like both of you, offered my services and they refused. A scientist of my caliber and they brushed me aside. Now they'll pay. World domination. Same old dream. Both of you, disavowed. And yet, look at you, finding yourselves here. You don't listen to their rules because their rules are stupid. That's all I'm trying to say, Mr. Bond. Don't you see how closed-minded these agencies are? I'm not interested living in a world with your disregard for human life. What are you going to do? Kill me? Even if you killed me, you wouldn't be able to stop Spectre. This is your opportunity. I want you to be part of this. I admire your persistence, but you letting me in here was your first mistake. MI6 will know where you are now. No more hiding. Ha! You think MI6 has your back? Hollow threats at best. I thought you were smarter than the rest, Mr. Bond. You disappoint me. Bond's PPK. Grab it. Give it to Gerard. Pointed at Bond. Or pointed at me. Kill Mr. Bond and join the greatest brains as an agent inspector. Or you can kill me and go about doing whatever it is you've been doing. Do you think that the CIA and MI6 won't blame you for all the agents you've killed? For all the innocents that have lost their lives at your hands? Don't listen to him, Gerard. I don't blame him. You did what you had to do to get here. It takes courage to do what you had to do. Mr. Bond merely rode your coattails. Spectre's ideals are the same as yours. Don't. I know you'll make the right decision. I can't. I knew you were weak.
is. What is it? It's details of his plan and his involvement with Spectre. Get a 10 by 6. What about you? I'm sorry. I'm sorry for everything. I'll get you out of here. No, it's too late. Drop, right, go. go. Just go. Leave me. These men are coming. Get out of here. It's too late. Go.
All right, team. With the discovery of the organization Spectre, we've found our next target. What are we going to do about Gerard? As far as we know, Gerard is dead. Anatoly was this man's apprentice. He works for Spectre, and he calls himself Dr. No. Bond, you leave for Jamaica tomorrow. Dr. Julius No has restarted a defunct guano business. The CIA believe it is a front to cover his proposed criminal operations. You'll work with the CIA's new head operative, David Gray. He'll show you around and debrief you further on the mission upon arrival. Aside from that, I've got a little present for you. So what are we talking here? Ejector seat, oil slick, machine guns, I presume? Bond, it's a Ford Focus. Rear view cameras come standard. Thanks, Q.
Perhaps I'd be best suited for the revenge section. 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 Revenge section. That's hard. You laughing over there, you don't know. Perhaps I'll be best suited for... <laughs> Perhaps I'll be best suited for the sex part. <laughs> I mean, revenge section. Perhaps I'd be best suited for the revenge section. That, those dude, those yeah. sounds don't work. Revenge. <laughs> Mr. Vaughn, really rogue, my friend. <laughs> really hey, Jamar, let's go. He's sending his men. <laughs> You're probably right about that. You were the best filled out agent I've ever had the opportunity of sleeping with. And, uh. I know, man. What did you know? Agent Barr? Found him. <laughs> okay, sorry. Well, what did it say about him? That he leads the, the secret list? <laughs> <laughs> Not sentences. <laughs> what did it say about him? That he leads the secret list? <laughs> I want it to be secret. Not really, Doc. Who'd end up thought I was thinking for you? <laughs> uh, they f I'll get it. What? They <laughs> 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 I can't do that with straight face. Oh, hotel's around the corner. <laughs> Start of something new. It's the first days. <laughs> the first days of winter, Vaughn. Notice? Winter's coming. <laughs> okay, Jon Snow. <laughs> Checking Ari. <laughs> On your way out? Yeah. Good. Looking good, right, Tap the desert. I gotta go. Hey, keep it safe. Keep it safe. So we have a Caucasian male strung up on your door that's painted as a Russian. <laughs> the Russians. The Russians? <laughs> The Russians? The Russians! The Russians? The Russians? The Russians? Sorry, I can't. What? The Russians! I don't need you. I don't need you. <laughs> He's a double agent. That's also true, though. You're not gonna make this easy, are you? Bang! <laughs> Just let me know when to turn it on. Cool. Alright. <laughs> Ari? <laughs> Field agent. Every prop. If you could use a falsetto so I know when to look at Ari. You got it. Okay, thanks. Your James Bond, right? Yeah, you heard of me? <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm not gonna. Go over there. <laughs> 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 Can I not do that? <laughs> just, okay, just walk in when you're ready and I'm composed. Can I just kind of add back to the table today, too, right? Yeah, so I guess we're living <laughs> things here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, go this on. is why yeah. we can't be in a scene together. Okay. Okay. They're all <laughs> I can't see it. <laughs> yeah, I am actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we're leaving things in your very capable hands. <laughs> 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 it's hell. I look at straight at your thing. I've heard you want to just. Oh man, <laughs> Put yourself. <sighs> I emphasize on the wrong syllable. <laughs> that's what I have to say about that. Oh my god, that's just what this. And action. <laughs> Six and <laughs> I like your bunker. Who is it? Your grandma. <laughs> <laughs> that was to signal that this was going to be the day, but 
I'll do like a three, two, one. All right, take it serious, guys. This is bomb three. <laughs> and then you tell me how you want it. Hard or soft? This line. What? <laughs> <laughs> All right. We baited a terrorist organization in the assassination of a 